Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is a short introduction just to a video of me um, up in the Lake District. I had some time off from work recently and uh, before I came back here and got on with all the decorating the house that I need to do, uh, I, I snatched a quick 24 hours up in uh, Eskdale, uh, taking a walk up in a wild camp. So this is just a quick video of that and I hope you enjoy it. to start a little walk up the uh, Eskdale Valley. I'm going to have to spell my wife. to Eskdale. I've just got off the uh, Ravenglass Eskdale mini steam railway which is brilliant. I loved it. I can see what people of a certain generation mean about the smell of a steam train now. Anyway, it's uh, 
It's about quarter past four. I'm heading up there. It's in the uh, Eskdale Valley. I'm going to find somewhere to pitch to camp tonight and uh, hopefully get a bit of, bit of walking in tomorrow. Nice to be back in the lakes. Weather well, forecast tonight isn't brilliant, but I think it's better than it was this afternoon when I was travelling up on the train. Set up just as the uh, sun goes down or sun's gone down in uh, Eskdale in the Lake District. <sighs> Long day, tiring. I'm uh, overlooking, I've just come past a place called Bull Crag. Wind crag it's over there somewhere behind me. Maybe over that behind there, I don't know. So it's been a long day, a lot of travelling. Got behind this bit of a rocky outcrop. Although that ground there is quite soggy. I only realised when I'd already half set my tent up, so I mean I've got a ground sheet underneath my tent so hopefully it'll be okay, but you live and learn. I didn't want to get on top of this ground because I'd probably be too exposed, that was the, the idea behind getting down there. I hope you can hear me over this breeze. It turns out it's a lovely evening after all the rain today. It's been a lovely sunset.
Still, if you want solitude, you're not too far from civilization here, but it's got the feeling of being completely on your own. Or a few sheep. Obviously, it's this is a managed landscape. It's National Trust where I am at the moment, I think. Over that way is, um, is the big two. Two Scarfells. I haven't actually had an opportunity to look closely at my map to see what these are. But so, where I am now, I've been too busy getting set up. Cheers, by the way. That's the old Montaigne Trail Base 44, that's been good. Not perfect, but you know, carried a lot of stuff, although it did get heavy. It's probably me overpacking. Interested to see how these get on tonight. This is the new. This new this year anyway, and new for me. Vango Cobra six hundred down sleeping bag. Eleven hundred grams. And this one I bought a while ago. It's one of your um, cheaper. Um, sleeping mats, it's uh, an American company, Pariah, or Pariah. Uh, this is the Recharge XL, this is quite heavy as they go, uh, weighs about 700 grams I think, but it, there's insulation inside it as well, yeah, chucked a bit of, bit of that silver mat stuff underneath, so I'm hoping uh, I, I know, because I've tested this out at home, it's a comfortable sleep. Uh, what it's like in the outdoors, well, we'll see. Um, but with that, and with a new sleeping bag, uh, yeah, the high hopes for a, a decent kip. Just a little vid to... Um say this insulating pouch from Valley and Peak is brilliant. I've had my batteries in it for head torch and phone etc all day and it's been great also for keeping your food hot while it's rehydrating.
but we can't see it in this slow morning light. But that's the Hartman uh, Pass up there. Goes towards uh, Ambleside and down to Wardenia. And just over there, and just about making it to where we can on this. since four <laughs> but at least I got some sleep so I'm just about to rise over the fells so as I say I'm packed away take a minute just to check I haven't dropped anything or left anything leaving no trace that's where the tent was it's where the flattened marshy grasses Well, there's the river Esk. Bit of road walking now to finish. I'm making my way back down to Ravenglass. Which is going to be quite a hike. Unfortunately, but I suppose it's been worth it. I actually got some sleep, <laughs> which is more than I did when I was in North Wales at New Year. But uh, all I want now. There's an internet signal or a phone signal, so I can let my wife know that I'm okay. I haven't fallen off a cliff somewhere. Then it'll be the long journey back down to London. I had to finish my walk today. You can see right up the Ashdale Valley there. Where I've come from. I'm now on Muncaster Fell, just about at the top. This is well worth, it's one of those small 
fells with a really good view. I just walked from basically way over there on the road through the woods and up onto Moncaster Fell into all the Eskdale Valley there. Now if we come to the top of here you can see the Irish Sea in front of us and down towards Ravenglass where I'm going to pick up my train I hope <laughs> that we don't have to wait long Lovely colour that beetle is. Like purple. Oh. Oh. It was me thinking Moncaster Fell was nearly finished. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it isn't. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Moncaster Fell. Small fell, but the wettest, boggiest experience of my walk in life. Without a shadow of a doubt, it's taken me ages. This is Moncaster Tarn. It's like a tranquil little place, doesn't it? That's where the River Esk meets the sea, the Irish Sea. And where my journey ends, just within spitting distance of the finish now. And we're back where we started yesterday, at Ravenglass. That's the actual railway. That's the steam railway we got yesterday. I got yesterday. <sighs> Thanks for joining me on this. Might see you again sometime.